Also joining us in the studio tonight, Keegan Hurst, 2015, coming out as gay. A massive story in the media. Obviously been in that mode now for a few years. How are you doing, Keegan? Yeah, all good, mate. Thanks for having us. Um, yeah, it was a big deal, wasn't it? But a massive news. It was nas full-on national news. Sunday morning, open the paper. There you are. Couldn't believe it. I'd seen you the day before down at East Leeds. Well, I needed I needed to get into modelling and I figured that was my, my way into it. But I think it, it turned out anyway that it's it's not really been a story about me being gay. It's been a story about people being honest about who they are. And, you know, 2018, we're talking about lads, we're talking about mental health and things like that and differences that people have, cultural differences, religious differences, things like that. And it's just rugby league's about being all right with who you are and we're a community game where everyone accepts everyone. And that that's the underlying story of it. You know, apart from being, you know, being gay as well, but it's been it's been it's been interesting because, like you say, there some of the great work that's gone on in the sport with people like Luke Ambler doing all the stuff he's been doing with Andy's Man Club. It, it, we are starting to be more open with who we are as men, talking about our problems, and even like royalty, Prince Harry, talking about how he's been uh, obviously since his mother's death, and it, it, it's quite refreshing to hear. Yeah, definitely. I think I think it's a bit a big subject that everyone's talking about. Um, uh, you got Stevie Ward over at Leeds talking about it with his Mentality magazine, and uh, it's it's just a hot topic. Talking about like toxic masculinity and lads being able to open up and talk about their emotions and stuff that maybe they couldn't have done ten years ago. And um, yeah, it's it's just really really prevalent thing to talk about. 